Unlock the secrets of Apple's 2024 iPad lineup with us. Dive into a world of cutting-edge technology and innovative designs. From power-packed features to sleek designs, we've got the inside scoop on everything you need to know. Get the first look at what's next in the tech world, right here, right now. Spring 2024, a season of transformation for Apple's iPad lineup. After a quiet 2023, Apple is set to make waves in the tech world with a complete overhaul of its iPad lineup this year. The tech giant is reportedly planning to unveil its new range as early as spring 2024. Mark Gurman, a Bloomberg reporter and reliable Apple insider, has reiterated in his Power On newsletter that the new iPads are slated for a spring release. He suggests that Apple aims to roll out the refreshed iPad series ahead of its annual WWDC event, usually held in June. This could mean that the new iPads might hit the market anytime from late March to late May. The anticipated lineup includes an OLED iPad Pro and a 12.9-inch iPad Air. There are also whispers about the discontinuation of the ninth generation iPad, with the current iPad 10 taking its place as the most affordable option. An iPad Mini 7 might also be on the cards for 2024. Here's a sneak peek into what we might expect from the 2024 iPads based on the rumors swirling around. iPad Pro 2024 The 2022 iPad Pro, powered by the Apple M2 chip, currently holds the title of the most potent iPad. However, its successor, rumored to house the same Apple M3 chip found in the new entry-level 14-inch MacBook Pro, could soon claim that crown. This would essentially equip the iPad Pro with the same processing power as a MacBook Pro. The iPad Pro is also rumored to be getting an OLED display, a significant upgrade from the current mini LED tech in the 12.9-inch model. Gurman and other sources suggest that the 12.9-inch iPad Pro might see a size increase to a 13-inch screen while the 11-inch model will likely retain its current size. There's also speculation about a possible 14-inch version of the iPad Pro. iPad Air 6. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo predicts that the iPad Air 6 will debut in two sizes, the existing 10.9-inch version and a new, larger 12.9-inch model that matches the iPad Pro. While the larger iPad is expected to retain its LCD panel, it might feature an oxide backplane, similar to the existing mini LED iPad Pro. There are also rumors about the new iPad Air sporting an OLED panel. The current iPad Air 5 runs on an M1 chip, but Apple might leapfrog to an M3 processor for the iPad Air 6, making it the fastest model in the series. It remains to be seen if the reported 12.9-inch iPad Air will simply be a larger variant of the 10.9-inch model. iPad 11 With the iPad recently undergoing a design update, it's unlikely that the iPad 11 will see major changes, apart from an upgrade from an A14 Bionic chip to the A16 Bionic found in the current iPhone 15. Even if the entry-level iPad doesn't see a significant update, enhanced Apple Pencil support would be a welcome addition. With the launch of the USB-C Apple Pencil in October 2023, it might be time for Apple to phase out the first-generation Apple Pencil to streamline options for consumers. The USB-C Apple Pencil, priced at $79, is currently the most affordable Apple stylus. While it attaches magnetically to the iPad 10, it doesn't charge wirelessly. It would be a great feature if the iPad 11 could offer this type of charging. Although there are no rumors about Apple adding wireless charging and pairing, it's a feature we'd love to see. iPad Mini 7 – Details about the iPad Mini 7's specifications are still sparse. However, it would be exciting to see an iPad Mini 7 that upgrades from the current A13 Bionic chip to the A16 Bionic or A17 Pro chip which powers the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. There's a buzz in the tech world about Apple launching an 8.7-inch iPad mini in 2024. This is not a misprint. The current iPad mini sports an 8.3-inch LCD screen, but according to ET News via 9 to 5 Mac, it's set for a significant size increase in the coming years. It remains to be seen whether this growth will be achieved by reducing the bezel, as was the case with the iPad Mini 6 over its 7.9-inch predecessors, or whether the device itself will have a larger footprint. Only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching.
If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with our latest content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, click on the bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from us. Remember, your support helps us create more content for you. Until next time, take care and we'll see you in the next video.